for all of you that are traveling to the Florida Keys and Key West via boat, be sure to check out some of these marinas I'm going to share with you. They're in downtown Key West and or Stock Island and our mobile service travels to all of them if you by chance need any boat repairs during your stay. So let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Carrie Ann Groff and I'm a local realtor here in Key West, Florida. And I just wanted to share with you some more tips about traveling to Key West via boat. If you like the content that I'm sharing each week, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. I've got a question for you. Have you had success with finding out the true value of your home using those estimators such as Realtor and Zillow and what they offer? Leave a comment below and let me know your experience. I'll go a little bit deeper into it at the end of the video. All right, so what are the best marinas here in Key West? I'm gonna share with you right now. Oceanside Marina, located at the Ocean's Edge Resort on Stock Island, is a full service marina open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. They have great fuel prices and offer a pump out facility by the docks. They have wet slips available for vessels up to 140 feet and offer many different charters available to the public for deep sea fishing and or other excursions. Boat slips come with power, cable, Wi-Fi, water, and a mobile pump out station. Other amenities included for those docked at the marina include the use of six on-site resort pools, gaming areas spread out throughout, a dog park, gym, and water sports activities. Be sure to grab a bite at the Yellowfin Bar and Kitchen for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Stock Island Marina Village is known as the largest deep water marina in the Florida Keys. It's open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It has over 40 acres and 288 boat slips to accommodate vessels up to 450 feet. Their fuel dock features high-speed pumps and is located on the T-head of the North Pier. Go to their website provided below to retrieve the map of their docks and their fuel dock station. Every reservation at the marina includes dockage, water, pump out, and access to the amenities of the Perry Hotel, which includes two waterfront pools, two dockside restaurants and bars, a 3,200 square foot event lawn that you can reserve for private ceremonies or celebrations. Galleon Marina is located on Front Street down in Key West at the Galleon Resort, which is a short walk away from Duval Street. The marina offers dockage space to accommodate yachts and boats up to 150 feet. As a marina guest, you're able to enjoy not only the marina amenities, but also full use of the swimming pool, patio lounge at the Tiki Bar, private beach, gym, and sauna. Also along the boardwalk is the Sunset Tiki Bar and Pirate's Cove, should you be looking for some tropical drinks or appetizers. A&B, only two blocks from Duval Street and steps away from some shopping, dining, art galleries, and nightlife of Key West. When docking at A&B, every slip includes Wi-Fi, clean shower and restroom facilities, laundry facilities, and fish cleaning stations. A&B houses the Harbor Walk and the elite fleet of charter fishing boats and also parasailing. Along the Harbor Walk is the A&B Lobster House if you want to experience fine dining with a view and also Alonzo's Oyster Bar located at the end of the ramp that features some of the best seafood options. Conk Harbor Marina is located at 961 Caroline Street in the historic Bite area. It houses vessels up to 200 feet and offers a variety of marina amenities that include, but not limited to, two on-site dining options, large pool and boating charters. Conk Harbor is located right behind Dante's. A few other marinas that you might want to check out would be the Key West Yacht Club, which is across from Sonic on Roosevelt Boulevard in Key West. It has about 67 slips and a few dinghy slips at the dock. Garrison Bite is located at 711 Eisenhower. They've got lots of dry storage for you to put your boat inside or outside. 
They also offer fishing charters and different water excursions. Be sure to check them out. And finally, we have the Stock Island Yacht Club and Marina that the Spotswoods owned at the end of Peninsular Avenue. They offer the private dining at LL's Kitchen. They have a pool, they have a sauna, and they have a workout room that you can enjoy when you dock there. If you have the opportunity to stay at one of these marinas, be sure to leave me a comment below and let me know what amenities were some of your favorite while you stayed there. Okay, let's circle back around to talking about home value. I wanna talk about those estimators and how disappointing they can be. I recently went to go meet with a customer that was interested in selling his home, and it's a 5-4 bedroom, four bath home, and it has a cottage that's a two bedroom, two bath, and the Realtor.com estimator said that it was worth 600000 If you know anything about home values in Key West, you know that that home is worth much more. Well, guess what? Two weeks later, he looked again to find out what the value was. It then said $900,000. This is exactly what the man told me. He looked then, like a week later, it had dropped back down to $600,000. So I came up with this idea of providing you great service and value by sending you and meeting with you to share with you the true value of your home. Be sure to reach out to me. I'm sure I can help you. My number is 305-424-8800. It's free, no obligation. It's just a phone call away. Until next time, bye for now.